To this day, Nino Brown Boxing. I'm back in the building. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. All right, man. So I wanted to talk about this quick topic that I had on my mind today, and I noticed that Earl Spence Jr. and Jason Rosario, they have, they got a few things in common, and I'll just start off with the basic shit. We know that they're both unified champions. They both hold the IBF belt with being unified champion. They both won their titles, they won their championships in their opponent's backyard. Earl Spence in the UK, Jason Rosario in Philly. Um, they both took the belt from the champ via knockout while inflicting damage to their opponent's left eye. We all know the whole story with um, Earl Spence and Kell Brook. And this past Saturday, we know the story with the cut over the uh, over J Rock's eye, as well. That definitely impacted the fight. Now, to go even further, I mean, we all we're all familiar that Earl Spence has elite sparring leading up to fights, but Jason Rosario he does too. Earl Spence he spars with Jamel Charlo, and I did a little bit of digging and just know that came across it on um, Jason Rosario Instagram that. He spars with Demetrius Andre. Now, now at this current point in time, Earl Spence Jr. and Jason Rosario have set a plan for themselves. Earl Spence Jr. he set his plan prior to the Sean Porter fight. The Sean Porter fight was a part of his plan, and you know he had a setback with a car accident, and Jason uh, Rosario. He's had setbacks before. He got stopped by Nathaniel Gallimore um, a few fights back. So, you know, we had some some bumps in the road for both guys. One guy in the ring, another guy outside of the ring. Now, the thing that I'm noticing is Earl Spence Jr., the plan was to face Danny Garcia and then face Manny Pacquiao. That's like the general understanding of boxing fans that what we expect Earl Spence next moves to be. Now, Rosario, this Rosario, he has um he has a plan as well. The first portion of his plan, he has to fulfill his rematch clause obligation to Julian J. Rock Williams. And then his team said that they want an additional fight. So possibly a mandatory. And then they're looking to have a pay-per-view unification bout with Jamel Charlo at the end of the year with that being said i'm not sure i'm not i don't want to jump to conclusions because that's not my style so i'll leave i'll leave some room for possible error and i say that because the article that i read where jason rosario's promoter on boxing scene he stated in detail that jason rosario you know his rematch clause he wants, you know, a fight in between, and then he wants to face Jamel Charlo at the end of the year. That's a plan. And I look at it like his plan is really no different from Errol Spence Jr. Errol Spence Jr., his part of his plan was a unification bout with Sean Porter. That happened. In order to get unif be unified, in order to become undisputed, that Sean Porter fight had to take place. In order for Jason Rosario to move forward in his career, the Julian J. Rock Williams rematch clause has to take place as well. Now, Danny Garcia fight, on the other hand, based off of, I'm just going off of what the WBC website is showing and what Kenny Porter has said. Danny Garcia is not Earl Spence's mandatory. So, if Jason Rosario decides to take a fight, mandatory or not, I don't see any problem with it. You know, that's, that's some common shit. Now, if Jason Rosario takes his mandatory or non-mandatory voluntary whatever the case may be i feel like no one should have any issue with it especially when they said that the plan for the end of the year is to face jamel charlo and it seems like the plan for earl spence jr is to face manny pacquiao after danny garcia i guess the only thing the kind the lines that are kind of blurred is manny pacquiao fight isn't guaranteed because we know manny pacquiao he's been ducking earl spence and it's been a lot of talk, but it hasn't been anything official. 
Jason Rosario and Jamel Charlo being on pay-per-view. That's what they want. Right now, it's just talk. It's definitely not official because it's extremely early. That fight just took place this past Saturday, and it's no guarantee that he'll get past. Um, it's no guarantee that he'll get past J Rock. I mean, I think that he can repeat what he did, but boxing is strange. One fifty four division, it's even stranger. So, with that, with all of that being said, basically, Jason Rosario and Earl Spence Jr. I look at it like this: If you're cool with one of these guys playing, and you're cool with the way that one of these guys want to move, then you should be cool with the next guy. Because both of these guys, well, both of these guys are already unified champions. And Jason Rosario has a contractual obligation that he has to fulfill. Earl Spence is coming off of his car accident. And the plans are to face Danny Garcia. And according to Kenny Porter and according to the WBC website, Danny Garcia at this point in time is not a mandatory. So I look at it like this. When it comes to, it just shouldn't be any issue. I know a lot of people was taking issue with how Jason Rosario was moving. Hey, his promoter, he said he believed him and Jamel Charlo was a 50-50 fight. At this point in time, I have no reason to disagree. I'm not about to downplay Rosario. I'm not about to downplay uh, Jamel Charlo because I want both of these guys to get full credit in this unification bout, and I want it to take place. I don't want anybody to try to flex on anyone when it comes to negotiation, but the reality of it is, Jason Rosario is a unified champ, so I wouldn't be surprised if some shit like that started to happen. But we'll see how everything plays out. It's Nino Brown Boxing. Shout out to the LDBC, and I'm out.